Oh, the bell, you chat. <sighs> Next deck is from Moron Took My Name. How dare you? How dare they take your name, dude? Interesting deck. I kind of like this. It's a Zoe Heimer deck with a lot of invoking. I'm actually down for this. This is a cool deck. I think this one has potential to go 5 0. Week, it's 2 a.m. my time and I'm not sleepy at all. That's the attitude that I like to hear. Um. It's a weird, weird, weird play. Uh, I think we mulligan everything, actually, believe it or not. Sub Percival is a keep sometimes, but there's too many cards you really want to find early. I like wasting his Thermos early. Um, Thermo and Zoe is just, it's just worth it. It's worth getting the Zoe gotten rid of. I could have waited for turn 3, but then Mystic Shot is um, much more likely. God Hand is a really good hand. Our hand is really good at the moment. We even get to save 2 mana now. So we can play Hymer, Pale Cascade if we curve out from this. Falling Comet is a uh, very good. Golden Sisters is also very good though. Uh, we currently have no removal for his Captain Farron. But we do have Thermos in the deck. We have Hushes to chump lock him. We have Hush in hand. I'm going to go for the healing. I think we're just going to need healing in this in this game more than anything else. My spirit shines. Yeah, that's a, that's a pass. It's a pass into probably blocking the 1-1. One, one. Zoe's pretty cool here. Um, This is usually going to be Mountain Goat into Zoe, right? If I'm not mistaken. We did take a lot of damage early, unfortunately. But that's why we have this. We have this to heal ourselves back up. That's pretty good. End round. I'm very happy with this. Uh, Zoe gets the open attack, which is pretty nice. Uh, I think Mountain Goat attacks every time as well. And we just open attack here and party. I'm very happy he spends removal on Zoe. That means Heimer is much more likely to live. I can put Heimer to 4 HP. Wow, he's actually... That's a weird play. Now he... Can he ever Thermo Heimer here? I don't know if he can Thermo Heimer here. It's it's risky, but I have to play the Heimer. So he doesn't Thermo Heimer. That's very good. Okay, let's uh let's kill Zoe. Let's kill what's her face here. Let's kill Ezreal. And we get to play Yuda on top of that. Flash of Brilliance, yes, we do have it in this deck. Now we're looking good. We're looking to make a comeback here. Uh we have this on mana seven. Just to heal for a, a metric ton of value. Um, we don't have a way to protect Heimer from big removal, but he doesn't know that, which is the most important part. If I play this, then he knows and he can commit everything onto Heimer. So now we can do this. Into buff Heimer a little bit. And we're forcing him to spend even more removal on top of this card because it's only hitting for three. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. And then we get just double unit on board as well. Put in a Mystic Shot instead of Static Range, I think is better. Now he's forced to Mystic Shot this. Okay, Flock is fine too. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're, we're looking really decent now to win, I think. He got himself Legion Marauder, which doesn't do much, thankfully. The question is, do I play Heimer next turn, or do I play uh, Sub Percival or Golden Sisters? I think I think the play is Golden Sisters. I could be wrong here, but I think Golden Sisters is the nuts here. We've got a very wide board. I do want to get value off of this every time, when possible. Perfect. This is pretty good. We healed for a lot. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I can hush this next turn if I want to. I have a blocker for Ezreal as well. Why is there a Legion? He got it off of his two-cost card. And we have double Subversible. He doesn't even have good, good, um, open attack. 
three damage to that is... It's okay. Um, I can actually play Bastion, though. I wonder how good Bastion here is. I think Bastion is actually really good. I'm going to play it. I think this makes it very awkward because this doesn't kill it anymore. So he has to have like double removal on top of it because the plus one plus one, right? So even now, like it's actually living through that being a 5-1. Now Ezreal does level up, which is a, which is a bummer. But it is what it is. How, how, how dangerous is letting Ezreal kill me here? Save Heimer. I don't think I'm playing Heimer this round, though. That's the, that's the thing. They don't know what up no, no, no. Got axes, need victims. It's a weird attack. Like, he, he's out of cards. He has one card left in his deck. He literally has one card left in his deck. How does he attack here? Like, he's out of cards. He's literally out of cards. Literally. But that's, that's a, okay, that's fine. So he's out of cards. That's, that's the, that's the, that's the good side. He is pushing a lot of damage. I don't have the mana to hush him. It's one, two, that's two damage, three damage in hand. He has three damage in hand. If I block the way I'm supposed to block, he's pushing to, uh, five damage. I'm not to six HP. I'm fine. I'm fine here. I'm just going to open with, uh, sunk cost. Oh, so climatic. So climatic, chat. Time for the money makers. I'm just going to open with a uh, sunburst here. And I should be okay to continue. I think I just got to kill Ezreal, right? Oh, he doesn't even get to play Ignition. Never mind. You got, guys, I'm, I've got it in my head, okay? I can't get it out of my head, chat. We have 10 eight, we have ten mana. We're almost certainly playing um, this, which means we're going to open with Solari Priestess, I think. That's a really, really good draw. This is actually really good, too. Let's kill Ezreal. Hopefully no second Ezreal. Star Shipping is very pog, dude. It's very pog. Easy end round. Um, oh my god, that's that's pretty sick. That's very sick. Yeah, we just win here, right? This has to be a win. He's looking for Ezreal here. Um, I think it's Heimer every time. We have eleven, which means we can play Heimer. Oh, we can't play Heimer. Star shaping hush, actually. It's Golden Sisters in that case. Okay. It's fine. Pass. Wonder what his last card is. That was a really good draw. Oh Jesus Christ. Wow, that's uh that's pretty sick. That's really really bad. Um crap, double spider. It's not GG yet guys, but it's very close to GG. I, no, I think the play is to heal myself, honestly. Like, we're, we're going to 4 HP here. It's whatever. I think this is just the play. Um, Living Legend seems pretty good. It's just heal. We have we have healing, lifesteal, plus another star shaping. But that's a, that's a really fortunate draw for him. That was very fortunate. Like, double spider is just... It's pretty insane to draw that way. So we're just going to get Heimer out for the... For the value of my next star shaping. This is very easy. This is very easy value. I, I need to hit this heal as soon as possible. Living Legends? No, I want to use it with Heimer. I want to use it with Heimer, I think. Uh, I'm going to heal up here because he has no units in hand anymore. So we're looking really good. Uh, wow, Cosmic Rays versus Supernova. It has to be Supernova. No, Cosmic Rays is better. No, Supernova. I, I messed up. I messed up. I should have gone for Supernova. I forgot he has axes in hand. 
But he can only use one axe. And if he plays Ezreal, I still get to kill Ezreal. So it's fine. This is this is good. It's a bit of a yikes. Um, okay, let's open with this. This Crescent Strike is amazing. Let's let's stun both of these guys. So they can't attack. Yeah, Supernova is a misplay. Um, I have lethal. I have open attack lethal. So we should be fine. Because I'm open attacking with um. Ten HP. I'm at six HP. I'm fine. I'm gonna go over this. Now I'm just I'm just going for lethal here, guys. I'm open attack lethaling. I'm just going for open attack lethal with uh, sub percival. This should be lethal. This should be guaranteed lethal. I, I could be wrong. Wait, he did... Wait, he... That's weird. But yeah. I don't think you can stop that. Get excited as a clutch draw. I, I didn't need it though. I had double... Um, double spell shield elusives hitting face versus a deck that can't heal. I don't know how he stops that. He would have to have a ridiculous... I don't think there's any way to stop it. Give free graps. What, what do you think this is? I earn every grab I ever got. Every single one. Stimulate the grab economy. It's called inflation, brother. You think Yas and Leona are a good combo? Not more or less. You're a handsome guy. Can I get grabs now? Of course you can, sir. Why didn't you say so? Of course. <laughs> you have infinite grabs, giving out a couple of thousand wouldn't hurt. You do realize at the start of every stream, I give every person 400 grabs was early. That tends to be about, um, not even joking, about 20,000 grabs at the start of every stream. Early, early viewers who are there before I click start stream get 400 each. And there's usually about 50 of them sitting around. So I give out 20,000 grabs at the start of every stream. Imagine adding more on top of that. The economy would just break down. I already stimulate the economy enough. If everyone gets free grabs, there will be inflation and Raul. Learn from Zimbabwe. Hey, Got a bit of moon rock for you. Got a bit of moon rock for you. There's no point attacking here. It's actually kind of pointless. Come on, drop your Draven or Ezreal. Come on, I know you have him in hand. Time Thank you. I appreciate that, actually. Wait, you know what? That I think that's actually a misplay. I think what I want to do is this, and set up a kill for the 1-2. Nah. That's nah, fine. This is fine. I can live with this. That's one Ezreal dead. Two to go. Will you do a Gamba for the gym battles in Pokemon? I usually do for, like, gym battles, yeah. I usually do. So we're doing pretty decent right now. We're doing actually pretty decent. I'm very happy with our progress thus far. Hey, T-Bone Dog. Thank you for the resub, my dude, for two months. Thank you. Pass. They have to play something. And if they don't, fantastic. They burn three mana more than I do.
Two Ezreal's dead. I'm happy with that. That's two down. One to go. Did you know that every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes for the whole world? Iron X Marauder for four months to support as well. A third of a year. Thank you, Iron X. Thank you for your very, very generous support. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you very much, sir. Ooh, there is a Falling Comet. Exactly what I wanted versus, uh, what's his face? Versus his, uh, Mana 8 play. That's exactly what I needed. It is what I needed. Easy, easy chump lock too. And now we're looking at Hymer into, um, Bastion next turn. So that's, uh, that's pretty fantastic. And he can't play Farin that turn, which means Farin is on... Okay, perfect. Better fix you on him. And Jordi! Jordi Urfer! With a tier 1 sub, pushing us to 36 subs already this stream. Thank you, Jordi. Oh my god, look what we found, chat! Look what I found! I found the Nutter Butter! Oh my god, this is... Okay, 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 okay. That's, that's, the per that's the perfect top deck, chat. That's the perfect top deck. Now he needs even more removal. He needs even more removal to stop him. And I get a 3-1 and a 4-1 on board. Fantastic. Fantastico. Imagine if this fails. Mystic Shot, come on, do it. Do it! That's fine. It's okay. It had to happen eventually. It's absolutely fine. I've got a pretty decent hand now. My board is looking sweet. That's a really good on um, 4 drop, actually. That's kind of hard to deal with. That's a little bit annoying to deal with, to be honest. I can't attack with either one because he has very good value block. Wait, he can't block with that, though. Yeah, I do, for sure. Never mind. Thermo Beam on 3-1. Here Hope it comes. your day is going well and continues to go well, my friend. I shouldn't have played this. That, this was a misplay. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. I hope so, too. I hope it keeps going well, too. Thank you for the kind words. Give it all was a really good generator. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord, chat. Look at that hand. I have no way to protect Heimer, though, unfortunately. I'm usually passing here, and I'll tell you why. Because of Captain Farron. Or if he has no Captain Farron, now I can play Heimer probably. But the problem is, if I play Heimer, I have no 4 cost spell. I get literally zero value out of him. So the play might be just to drop Sub Percival here. Yeah, it's Sub Percival for sure. Draw a card. That's a really good card. Free value, basically. Free board development. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way, Azarin. And Sunflower3980 with a two months of support, my man! Just popping in here saying, I will support your stream, Grappler. Appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, at least now we can play Heimer and heal. Like, at least I have some mana to play on top of this. Hi, Grapp. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jordy. Now he has two really annoying targets he has to deal with. That's fine. Um, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the following. See, that 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 just that's just saying I have flock in hand and I don't care. So we're just gonna heal first, and we're gonna hush ourselves. Ooh, Supernova is really decent. I'm gonna go for Supernova. He has one Ezreal left. And if he's playing stun into that, I'm going to assume he doesn't have a way to stop me now. I still get one more unit off of this. Oh, I don't get the unit? Wow, that's, that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird, actually. I thought I do get the unit off of it. I thought I do get the unit off of Hush. Interesting. Does he have a second flock for this, then? He might have a second flock. But that's, this is still worth doing every time. Can you try to meow like Percival? I need to hear it again. Meow, 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 meow! I have to hear it better to be able to impersonate it properly. That's the best I have for short notice. 
<laughs> Waking up to chalking on acid reflux. Scary oh. moment. Glad your stream is here to help calm down. Thanks, Sorry to hear bro. that, buddy. That does that does suck. That does suck. Sorry to hear it, Ecto. I'm fine with that. Ezreal levels, but we get to kill Ezreal in the process. We're missing, um, we're missing something for Supernova. Oh, wait, we have Fallen Comet. So if he doesn't open attack... Rummage would be the worst draw for us for him to have. I'm hoping he plays. Please play your Captain Farron. Please be a top deck 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 Farron. Right Never lucky. Wait, what? Oh, ah! Chat! He did an attack with Ezreal! He knows I have Hush. He does indeed. Now I'm thinking what to do here. I'm gonna get rid of uh, Falling. I'm gonna get rid of Give It All. I, I can't do this yet. El Serpiente! I need to wait for more value, guys. I'm aware this is doing two damage per. I need to wait for more value. Hi, Grap and chat. I have been severely depressed for the past couple of years. I discovered this stream a few weeks ago, and the stream has helped me immensely. So just wanted to thank you for being such a positive place. Hey, man, Jordy. Yeah, depression does suck, brother. I'm sorry, you, I'm sorry to hear you have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall in comet this. I'm going to go with Solari into Supernova after that. I should have played that first, but I was thinking I would get Supernova value. So we do this into this now. I'm sorry to hear it, Jordy. And Depression does suck for sure. It definitely does. This is a really good card. Written the Stars might be the best one, though. It gives me Zoe or Heimer, and they're all really good. Wow, and I already have healing. I think I'm going to go for this. I think this is the play here. Imagine if he has Captain Farron. I mean, I, I have ways around Captain Farron. I, if that's a Captain Farron, I'm going to be so weirded out. It was playing around this. Deal one damage, that's fine. That does nothing. Even f now, now Flog just loses all value for him. That's really good for us. That's fine, that's fine. Um, this will pull in. I don't know what this is pulling in, actually. This is pulling in the 1-2. Then this guy gets value for attacking. These guys are both decent jump blockers, but I also like lowering... I need to start pushing damage. If that's a Captain Farron, I'm so weirded out here. It's a flock, it seems. If it's a flock or killed an injured unit, that's amazing for us. Then we're just, I think, just winning the game. This is two damage per turn, though. I gotta consider that. It is a flock, then. Okay. So, yeah, we're fine. That's a lot of damage to take to face. Um, that's a that's a ton of damage to take to face. I'm not sure I agree with that. Hey, where's my where where are my um where my where's my stuff, dude? So weird. Such a weird game. Can't use Nova. I'm aware. I'm aware I can, but I still have answers. What is Zoe at? Sending bits to say Jordy. That's I an hope OTK. you have the best of days. Living is hard, but I believe in you on whatever hardship you need to overcome. Since the bits were sent to Grab, if you stream one day, ask him for these 100 bits I'm giving him. Yeah, that's nice of you, Puku. That is. I'm not sure what to play here. If he has Captain Fair and I need to be able to keep Zoe Sleepy Trouble, I can just play this on my turn. Okay, so he, had, he already attacked, which means I don't have to care about this anymore. I can just chump block and play it. 
I can just play Immortal now. Yeah, passing was correct there. Because of Captain Fair, I need to be able to block um, Overwhelm. So th the way I block is by stunning it, so he can't attack. Now we just play this afterwards. All right, we're good, I think. I think we won here. The reason we don't um, attack with these is because of this card. And some weird shenanigan he might do. But yeah, Jordy. Um, depression does suck. I really hope you get to the bottom of it and find a way to get over it. Or at least make it better. Years is a long time to go depressed. So I understand where you guys are coming from. I, 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 don't, I don't really suffer it to a very big degree. But I do understand where it's coming from. And it does suck. But yeah, it, it does come down to that. I think a lot of people will have a better time if they can find that purpose. And you just need to look for it. You need to, you need to decide on it. And it can come from little things. It can come from little things. It can come from hobbies. It can come from... I only get anxiety from having things to do and not doing them. Oh, that's true as well. I am a Mr. Procrastinator in school. Hmm, Diana Nocturne. I think I'm keeping Spacey Sketcher in that case. I'll never miss it, so happy birthday. <laughs> Alright, dude. Do you do any money every text, tweet? Uh huh. Yeah, for sure, man. Oh, it makes a big difference. Yeah, Omnis, um, exactly. That's, that's that's a very good example you just gave. Your friend doing um volunteer gardening as a large dish. It it gives you it gives you something to do. It it keeps your mind occupied. There there are many many reasons why people have depression, and they're all different. You can't have one cure all band aid. But some people truly just get depressed from not having enough stuff to do in their head, not having enough distractions. They they just have too many, too few things happening. What am I doing with this? Am I am I just recording the gem playing Starry Scamp here? Why? I'm not even attacking with him if he has a blocker. Nah, I'm just gonna attack. I, I don't mind getting rid of Super School. I, I like reducing the cost of this. Can this deck counter Lee Zoe? I don't know about counter. That's a hard word. Um, I think there's a few cards that can counter Lee Zoe. I could make a deck specifically to counter Lee Zoe, but this is not it. This is definitely not that kind of. I gotta kill this. I don't have a choice. It's too much damage, and I have no good blocker for it. I could have played Sorry Scamp plus Gem, but it's not worth it. Am I a model? No, I'm not. What was your highest ranking in MTG? Uh, well, it's, it's when you get the numbers, right? I played very little, but I did get to the point where I was in the numbers. Does that make sense? Infinite Mind Splitter? Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Mind Splitter with stuff like either Deny or Bastion to stop, to stop it from destroying you. All right, let's, uh, we can go for this, actually. I like Aftershock here. It's a bit of a weird play, but it also keeps me on 0-0 zero, zero mana, which I like. And I get to open attack again with Zoe, which is amazing. Getting a zero-cost super school star chart is really good. And what's really good is if he now uses removal, like Withering Whale, I can play uh, Bastion. So, overall, it feels solid. Equinox is amazing here. We will Equinox a 3-3 every time, I think. And we might even stay at 4 mana just to prevent Vile Feast on Zoe. I don't think he has it. I'm going to end here. Zoe's getting too close to leveling. 6 out of 10 not to keep Vile Feast in hand. It's too important. We were peaceful once. Wow, this is a tough one. Gem on one hand is really good because it gives me a, a really cheap card to activate for Zoe. I'm going to actually play Gem on this to start off with. And I'm going to discard the Thermo Beam, I think. Because this is actually a really good unit. And uh, both Crescent and Equinox are very good. Crescent is better for Diana if he's going to play Diana here. It also works with Crescent plus Bastion. I actually have level up this turn. Uh, that should be a good game, I think. I 
I don't mind him pulling in now. I can actually buff my Zoe to be a 2-3 if I really wanted to. But we got the level up, and then we have this coming down next turn. I'm going to buff. I think the buff is worth it just to keep her alive. She gives me a lot of value from hitting face. He might have Pale Cascade here. Not a big deal. I still get everything elusive. And I still get to play... Um, Everything, this is going to be a 5-5 five, five elusive. These will be both elusives. Like, we have a good board overall. Wow, that's a good draw. That's a really good draw. That's going to be tough for him. We're putting massive damage on board. I could Spacey Sketcher discard the progress. I don't think it's worth it, though. And if I can draw with um, Zoe anything with Spell Shield, I think he's going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm hoping for Meteor here. Meteor is really good. Because he spends all his mana on Meteor. Why does your face seem to be a little lower today? Posture, Grappler. Posture, my man. Why you know posture properly? Hey, Delil God, another three gifted subs, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for three more gifts. I appreciate that a lot, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Spell Shield, Golden Sisters is amazing. But so is this, dude. So is this. He's nowhere close to leveling. I think Golden Sisters is the nuts here. My best ever is 500. Thank you very much, Delo God. Thank you very, very much. You loved all the voice interactions in this game a lot. They are good. I agree with you. They are very good. Search. Okay, I think we were just one. And one more gifted sub from Delo God to Arth Main. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. He doesn't have enough to beat us. I kind of just want to keep star shaping. I want to. I want him to hit, play atrocity. I star shape to keep myself alive, and then next turn open with this. Like I think that's the play here. So he doesn't have atrocity this turn. One, two, three. We should be fine here. I think we're absolutely okay here. I probably will play the spacey sketcher now on the progress day though. I, I want one more blocker at the very least. Messenger's really good. I know it looks a bit weird to throw away my draw, but I have draw here. I have draw here. And I have theoretical draw here as well. So I think I'm okay with this. Let's see. Biggest possible block is here. This can easily block here. And this can easily block here. We should be more than fine with this much HP, I think. We're not losing this guy. He might pill Cascade here. I don't mind. Nocturne? Yeah. I think we're fine now. Um, So now we're going to actually play Golden Sisters. Because he can't kill me for four. And we can just open attack with everything. Zone Ghost! With their prime sub for eight freaking months. Thank you, Zone Ghost, for the massive, massive support. Thank you, Zone Ghost. I appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. Killed Billy? Nah. Thought Nuzlocke was today. Well, it's uh, it's my next stream. My next stream is going to be a Nuzlocke stream. But yeah, 3-0 at the moment. Thoughts on Connor McGregor? Very good striker. He's a good striker. Very well-rounded fighter. Very good at selling himself. Quick-witted as well. Good at insulting people. I don't really have many more thoughts than that. That's about it. That's as far as my thoughts go. You can't just Raul. Raul becomes you. Well, I have double Zoe now, so this is kind of interesting. If he Thermos plays Teemo, I can chump lock the second Teemo. It's fine. Do you play till you lose? Um... You, depends. If I lose the first game, I'll probably play a second game. If I lose two in a row, I probably end it there. Mystic shot. 
This is good. So this is tempo tempo gain, basically. It's always good for the second Zoe to be here. Now, this is interesting. Um, I think I open attack every time. Wow, I actually got the hit through. That's crazy. That's really, really, really good. Um, wow. That's this is a problem. On one hand, I really want to kill this Puff Cat Peddler because it is one of his win cons. On the other hand, he has way, way too many ways to buff it. I just might rather silence it if I can find a silence. I think he would have killed me if he had the kill. I'm gonna go for this. If he wants the Mystic Shot, let him. He might be saving Mystic Shot after Puff Cat Peddler, but it's debatable. I don't think he would have let me hit him if he had Mystic Shot this whole time. I'm just gonna play it. Your ARM request went 0 1, never played again that time. I do that sometimes. I'm, I, I promise one game. That's as much as I promise when I do this. I don't usually promise more than one game. It's a problem. It's actually a big problem. That's a lot of mushrooms. Aftershock, he's still shuffling um, 16 mushrooms into my deck. Even if I Aftershock now. I probably do have to, though. I wanted to save this for his Ezreal, personally. But I think I have to just do this. I think you play at least two as you played some cost twice. Yeah, but I was in a good mood for my ice cream. The ice cream put me in a good mood. I almost always play two. I sometimes play one. I sometimes play one if I think it's the right thing to do. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Sometimes just feel like it's the right thing to do. I don't know. I don't know how else to phrase it. Play deep twice though. Yeah. Nice. Right, come on, drop a big unit. Big unit. Not tiny weenie. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Easy Heimer! The easiest of Heimer Dongers I've ever seen. The Heimer Donger is strong. I think this is the card I want. Danger Noodle. No, I'm looking for Pale Cascade to block the Ezreal. I think Pale Cascade is much stronger than Thermoing her. Oh no, I misplayed! I played the wrong- Oh my- I cannot believe it! I played the wrong card! I actually can't believe I played the wrong card. Holy crap. That's insane. That's actually insane, dude. I played the wrong card. It's a weird play by him, but okay, I'll take that. I'm actually gonna kill, uh... I'm gonna kill Ezreal here, so I can open attack with her. I'm going to get rid of Spacey Sketcher. Oh my god, I almost misplayed again. Just pay attention, Grappler! She's currently 8 out of 10. I should be able to just open level... I should be able to instant level up here with her. But I'm open attacking, of course, for obvious reasons. Wait, never mind. This is just... Wow, that's crazy. That's cr I just realized how good Heimer is at leveling Zoe. That's insane. I'm... Sh wow, dude. That's, 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 that's cra crazy. Crazy! You know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to do this. I'm going to attack with these. And I think I'm just going to open with Bastion here on Heimer, believe it or not. I want to get the zero cost summon a unit. I'm going to go for it. Yo, what's up for Misha? How are you? How are you doing? He's got two really important units to remove here. And that's a problem for him. That's two very important units to remove. He doesn't know who to remove. I also have Pale Cascade, whether he knows it or not. So if he had plays like double Mystic Shot, I can survive it. The Nuts would be uh, Get Excited plus another Static Shock. I'd be very happy Static Shock Get Excited, because then I can survive with 1 HP and make him lose all of his value. Is the new champ coming February 3rd? I thought it was the 19th. If it's the 3rd, that's insane. Why didn't I give everything Overwhelm? Um, Because I, I, I wanted to open attack and see what I get with this. 
This can give me a lot of different cards that I could play. I don't know. I could have played everything Overwhelm, but am I doing that? Am I giving me a chance to play Elusive Blocker so I can't get this? I don't know. All right, we're looking really good here. Let me see what this gives me. Wow, that's spicy. That's so spicy, chat. That is so spicy. I think I want to give everything Challenger. Not the other way around. I think Challenger is better than Overwhelm. Because I'm, I'm going Elusive anyway. Eventually. But yeah, Challenger is really strong versus uh, future Elusives you might have. Okay, we're looking good. Tito does nothing. Tito literally does nothing here. The good thing about Tito is we're just going to do this anyway. While he's low on mana. I could even level Heimer if I wanted to. That's one Tito dead. Everybody gets tough. This is amazing. Oh. The value chat. The value. And now we play this. Now the fun begins. Now the absolute fun begins, boys. Oh, oh, oh no. I gotta play this for... No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're fine, chat. We're fine. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a game ender. Now I just want stuff to die, chat. Now I want stuff to die for next turn. Time for a true display of skill. Give me all the value! I <laughs> got him, boys. Easy win. Four no, boys. Let's keep going. Are we going to get the refund or not? I see you enjoy my deck creation as much as I do. It's been a lot of fun so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. It plays pretty solidly. But I, I mean, the moment I saw it, I said this looks like a competitive deck. It does look competitive. I've never seen a 5-0 viewer deck. It, it rarely happens. It rarely happens. Because we're playing in Masters, and we do tend to run into people with optimized lists. And those can be hard to win. You can end up being like a 30-70 um, underdog. Alright, this comes down to whether he gets... Uh, <clears throat> whether he gets Plaza on, on 3 or not. Plaza on 3 is probably a game. Plaza, no Plaza in hand is uh, really good for us, though, so... It depends what he has in his opener. What does he want from me? <gasps> Keep the aftershock. Oh no! I forgot. Af uh, I forgot it removes. Um. Oh my god! I forgot. I Chad, I forgot. I forgot it removes. Oh my god! I might have thrown. I might have thrown. I might have thrown chat. I might have thrown a little bit. I'm just saying. I might have thrown a little bit. He's not going to have it, chat. He's not going to have Plaza. Okay? Just believe. Just don't be a don't be a negative Nancy, chat. Don't be a negative Nancy. That's all I ask of you, guys. Let's not be negativo. Reality, just your mind under what it doesn't Silly. He's not going to have Plaza. Get in the portal, boys. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the bad stuff. I wanna go home. <laughs> Obliterate the plaza? I can't. I don't, have the, I don't have the cards for it. But I do have this, though. There is this. There is this. And, oh, my God. I, how did I not find it? How did I not find the chat? I need my hushes, my silences. I need to dig deep in the deck. I mean, we're doing good so far. We're not doing that bad. We got all three Zoes to get all the. There is an interesting card. Please play a four cost. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. I'll just pass here. 
That, that I can't silence. That I can't silence. That's not that bad, though. This is actually pretty okay with me. I'm kind of okay with this. Like, he's getting no value out of that. He's only doing damage to face that have 15 healing. I'm okay with this, chat. That's not scary at all. 15. Yeah, we have 15 healing in hand. I just gotta watch for, um... What do you call it? I just have to watch out for... Rally. That can kill my Heimer. Can I afford to play Heimer? There's no reason to play Heimer right now. I can I can just play my Zoe number three. Like there's no reason for Heimer. I just play Zoe number three. Keep some burst for Hecarim, I'm aware. We're just gonna play Zoe again. We're fine. Let him rally into Zoe if he wants to. If that's what he wants to do. I'm actually starting to push decent damage here. I'm actually starting to push decent damage that I think this is worth doing. And open attack is, I think, correct every time. I don't mind a single combat. I'm pretty happy with single combat here. I have three damage to phase guaranteed. If I want it. Heimer. I mean, Hecarim here. Big Heck. Easy. Beautiful Sunburst. Discount Heimer. No, not worth it. Not yet. Not worth doing yet. End round. So... This can give me a stun card. It can give me a lot of stuff, actually. What is she at? 2 out of 10? When is Aphelios out? Tough question to answer. I don't know, really. Maybe there is an answer to that. But, oh my god. He, oh my god, he gets Hecarim back, dude. Five out of seven. He's actually, he's actually leveling Hecarim. So what I need here is a stun for Hecarim. I need a stun card right now. I have no removal that I can get. Look for Hush and Stun, yeah. There it is. I'm not dead. That's, that's the important thing. Uh, I need him. How much is he going to hit for? Every one of these hits for 5 damage, right? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 damage. I can survive if I'm, be if I'm careful here. Don't Stun Hecarim? Why? Oh, you're right. Don't Stun Hecarim. That's a good point. Never mind. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right, don't stun Hecarim. You're, but no, he's going to attack with Hecarim at the end, though. Like, Hecarim's going to hit at the end, right? Hecarim swinging at the end of it. I have to stun now. So let's stun these two, for example. Wait, but he, Yeah, let's stun these two. Yeah, he's, guys, he summons cards. What do you mean? I have to stun Hecarim. I have to stun Hec. He summons ghosts. Yeah, let's not Papaya here. He's going to deal um, quite a lot of damage to face, and then we're just going to drop Heimer and rebuild with Heimer. That's the play here. We're just going to rebuild with Heimer. I can look to level up Zoe. I could save Zoe here. Hecarim also buffs other ephemerals. It would be a massive misplay if you don't. So let's think about this. Do we save Zoe? Zoe's 4 out of 10. This would put her 5 out of 10. Then we can just level... I think we actually save Zoe. I'm not even kidding. I actually think we save Zoe here. I'm not even joking. I think we flip Zoe. Because this is 3 damage we can go to face, but this is, I'm also pushing 2 guaranteed to face here anyway. I'm saving her. We have uh, 17 healing to face. As long as we can go wide enough, which Heimer should be able to do. Heimer should be able to go wide enough. To prevent all of this bad stuff from happening. Heimer can give me blockers for the future. Like, Heimer plus a zero cost spell plus a two cost spell should be enough. Alright, so this is going to be 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I think we have it. If we get a cheap card, we can even do it burst speed. Evidently logical. Evidently logical. Alright, 6 out of 10. 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. We have way more than enough to do it. Buff single combat onto Heimer. Oh, this guy has everything, bro. All right, let's see what we draw here. Sub Percival's not bad. Uh huh. Let's uh.
Do I give everything tough? First? No, I, I think I give everything challenger. No, challenger last. Is toughness even worth doing now? V Vile feast? Let's do this first. No, no, tough first makes no sense to do. Because I want to give tough to my to um uh, to the challenger. I, I play this then challenger. I think actually, why not tough? Because what vile feast doesn't kill anything except for the one one anyway, and he's gonna kill that one one no matter what anyway. I can go wide enough here. Don't get in my way. Okay, that's really, really tough to deal with. Uh, what can she give me? What can this unit give me for one cost? I can get the 4-1 challenger. This has to be the right play. I'm going to get rid of one of these because this is actually pointless. I can only play two in one turn anyway. 4-1! So I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, chat. Now everything is challenger. I can kill Lucian off, guaranteed. Yeah, challenger into tough guy, probably. You're probably right. Now I'm doing tough after combat. There's no point in doing tough now. This is fine. I'll, I'll replace this guy anyway. So everything attacks here. We know Lucian needs to die. It doesn't matter the order. Like Lucian's never leveling here. This pulls to this in. Um, doing damage to Hecarim I think makes no difference because he's gonna heal up to full anyway. So we're pushing how much? He's down to three HP here. This seems right. For one mana, he has nothing to do. I keep the blockers. I will. I'm having. I have two more blockers. I have full blockers in hand. Harrowing is a bit annoying, but I think I can. I can. I can generate enough cards to stop all the blocks. I can generate two units with this. Plus, I can heal to 20 HP. Wait, no, I can't play them both. Never mind. Wait, I missed lethal. Wait, how did I miss lethal? Oh my god, I missed lethal chat. You're actually right. Wait, what am I picking up now? I don't even know what to pick up, chat. I can't even play this card. I can't believe I missed lethal, dude. I can't believe I missed lethal, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. He's going to harrowing a second time. He's going to have Lucian to level up. Oh my god. This is so bad. Here comes Herring number two. Can I survive this? Do I have survival? I think I have survival here. I just stunned both Hecrums, right? Wait, can I? Oh my god. Guys, what am I stunning? What am I stunning, chat? I gotta stun these two. Okay, no, never mind. I know what I'm stunning. Don't even worry about it. I know what we're stunning. We're stunning the two Hecrums. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, chat. We're stunning the two Hecrums. We know they have overwhelm. We, we can't we can't stop this. Oh boy. I think I'm fine here. Am I fine here? He's generating units with with this dude, unfortunately. Is he he's not getting the level up. Wow, that's good. Oh, that's so good. He doesn't get the level, he doesn't get the rally here. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, chat! We're absolutely fine. We are absolutely fine, chat. I think we're fine. So we, we're healing no matter what here. We're generating a card with Heimer no matter what happens. Destroyer spell shield. Give spell shield to her seems pretty good. Not a thing with Lucian. So we... We chump luck. We chump luck. We take six to face, and then we just... Do we even open attack, or do I play Spell Shield on her, and then just... Yeah, we, we play Spell Shield first, then we attack. We should be fine. We should be fine. I think we're good here. Five and oh, boys! We're getting a refund. Cock-a-doodle-doo.